Hey everybody, so we are here in the studio today. I'm here with uh, Jonathan Sampson. Sampson? Sampson. Yes. And we're doing a product photography shoot today. Let's see if I can move with some knives. These, tell us about these knives, John. So these are uh, Scar Blades knives, and my cousin actually makes these. And they are, uh, he makes a ton of different varieties of knives. Um, but this one today is the Strike Fighter that we're photographing. And uh, we're just trying to get the best image that we can with a nice gradient on the blade. And I think that so far we've been able to do that pretty well. Scarblades.com. Perfect. So if you want to check out those knives, but really cool knives are handmade, I believe. Yes, they are. This is a pretty simple setup. We're doing some catalog style sh shots first on just white. So this is a white piece of uh, poster board for the background. And then I've got two studio strobes uh, on C stands here. These are just the alien bees with soft boxes. And what we found is that uh, the camera is directly above up here on the camera stand. In order to get a nice highlight on this blade and also soften the shadow underneath, we needed this soft box here. And we've got it dialed in um, just about right at the right angle. You can see it's not a, a right angle to the blade, it's kind of uh, tilted in this way. And that's because uh, we noticed that doing that would, would provide a nice gradient highlight on, the, on this uh, rounded edge of the blade. Anyway, so this stuff's just trial and error. A lot of fun experimentation today. We've got a few more knives to shoot, and we're gonna try a few di different setups, and we'll go from there. Okay, we finished our catalog shots on white, which I think went really well, and now we've, uh, set up a few I guess more creative shots this is just some red rock that I uh, brought in from my backyard pulled out of the garden and we have it propped here up just on some tape uh, leaning and propping the knives against that just to see what happens and um, we found that uh, the way this rock lays the light comes in underneath that really nicely and kind of makes a nice dramatic effect and here's one of those shots here. Uh, this line of knives is called the Sahara, so it kind of fits with the red rock desert type look. We're going to continue on shooting a few more of these and then move on to a different set. <clears throat> We've moved on to a different set. We uh, just took an ammo box and emptied a bunch of ammo into it and poured it out and then placed the, the knife on top. We've got a flash overhead in a soft box and a little bit of bounce just to try to light up that, that point of that knife. And those are turning out pretty cool if you look at the final. A nice light fall off, it looks nice. Cool. So this is just some canned air that uh, we're using just to clean off any dust particles that may have fallen on the knife in between shoots. Um, we really want to make sure the blade is completely free of all debris when we shoot this. That's just going to make it a lot easier in editing. And we've got some World War II elements in here, the Soldier's Guide book from the Department of Army. And what, what's this rifle here? That is a .30-06. Uh, rifle from World War II era. Awesome, so we've got that laying in and then uh, this is an actual Air Force jacket, right? Yes. Also from the era. Yep. And it looks like, a, is this an ammo bag? What is this? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this piece is. I think it's just a pouch for carrying just whatever items you like. Right. So we just kind of layered those in there. We found that the more layering there is, um, you know, we have the, the book coming in, layered underneath the knife, and these different layers and textures really make for an interesting shot. Here's the here's the final shot, and and it looks fantastic. <laughs> Jonathan's happy with it. I'm happy I'm with it. I'm super happy with it. It it just looks amazing. And so we're gonna shoot the whole series of what is this one? Strike fighter. Strike fighter in this set, and then we're gonna call it a wrap. Mm -hmm.